What's up internet welcome back once again I am Manish from rebellionrider.com where we learn computer programming in every unconventional way possible In today's tutorial we will learn how to use bulk collect into with execute immediate of dynamic SQL So without wasting much of your time let's get started as we have already learned that we can easily reduce context switches and improve the performance of a PL SQL program by using bulk collect. Thus in today's tutorial we will see how we can integrate the concept of bulk collect with dynamic SQL and enhance the performance of our programs. That being said, let's move ahead and write some code. In this demonstration, I will show how you can properly use bulk collect into with execute immediate of dynamic SQL. So let's do that. Here we have the declaration section of our PL SQL block. This time instead of just declaring a single variable like we were doing in the last couple of videos, we have gone a little further and declared a collection of nested table type. Let's take a look at what we have done here in this section. In the first line we have declared a collection of nested table type anti underscore f name. This nested table can hold any data which is of varchar2 data type. In the next line we have created a collection variable f name of our collection type anti underscore f name. You must be wondering why I have done this. Most of you guys who have watched my PL SQL tutorial 73 on select into with bulk collect must know exactly why I have created this collection here. In case you are not one of those, let me tell you the reason. PL SQL collections are the only supportive data type for storing the data returned or say processed by a bulk collect clause. Yes, you heard it right. We cannot store the data returned by a bulk collect into a variable of any primitive data type. In our demonstration, we will be using this collection for storing the data returned by our bulk collect query which we will be writing next. Along with a nested table and its corresponding collection variable, we have also declared our all time favorite variable SQL underscore QRY. This variable will be used for storing the SQL query which we will be running with execute immediate statement of dynamic SQL. Always make sure that the data type of the variable which you will be using for storing the query for dynamic SQL must be varchar2 and the data width must always be sufficient enough for holding your SQL query. For example, as you can see here in my case the data type of SQL underscore QRY variable is varchar2. Also I have set the data width of this variable to 20. I think this will be more than enough for storing my SQL query. Now let's move ahead and write the execution section. But before that let's prepare our SQL query on a separate worksheet. Great. That is the bulk collect query which we usually write. I mean there is nothing wrong with it. But the question here is will it work with the execute immediate statement or not? What do you guys suggest? Mm, sadly it will not work. Though it may look correct but it will not fit into the syntax of an execute immediate statement. If we will try to execute this query then we will get an error. Let me quickly show you. Let's copy this statement. Done. Now come back to our main worksheet and write the execution section. Here we are. Here is the execution section. As you can see in the first line I have assigned our select statement to the variable SQL underscore QRY. And in the next we are executing this same statement with the execute immediate of dynamic SQL. I think this will be enough for testing whether this SQL statement will work with execute immediate or will give an error. Now let's execute and check. 
here we have got an error ORA 03001 unimplemented feature apparently our SQL statement didn't work if that is not the correct way of writing a bulk collect statement with execute immediate then what is let me show you the correct way of using bulk collect into clause with execute immediate of dynamic SQL bulk collect into works more like an attribute of an execute immediate statement here in this case we are supplying bulk collect as an SQL statement to execute immediate which is causing an error let's modify this execution section and see what it means yes that will be our SQL query no fancy stuff only straightforward select statement as I said bulk collect works as an attribute to execute immediate thus bulk collect into clause should be applied with the execute immediate statement not with the SQL query so let's move ahead and write the most awaited dynamic SQL statement here we are let's first understand this and then we will write the code for displaying all the data stored into the collection the statement like always starts with the result phrase execute immediate following that we have specified the variable sql underscore qry into which we have stored our sql query and right after that we have our bulk collect into clause with the collection variable into which it will return and store the data yes you first write the result phrase execute immediate and then your sql query or the name of the variable holding your query like we did here and then the bulk collect into clause followed by a collection variable that's all you have to do our SQL query is returning the data from the first name column of the employees table the data type of the first name column of the employees table is varchar2 which means this select statement is returning the data of varchar2 data type and with the help of dynamic SQL statement we are storing this data into the collection nt underscore f name that is the reason why we design our nested table to hold the data of varchar2 data type this is a small restriction which you have to keep in mind just make sure either the data type is same or compatible anyways let's move ahead so far this program is retrieving the value from the employees table and storing it into a collection through dynamic SQL but there is no provision to show that data back to the user we need to fix this can you guess how we can do that there are multiple ways of doing that but the simplest way is to write a for loop with an output statement let's do that here we have a simple for loop and we are using the collection method count to cycle through our collection nt underscore f name I have done a very good tutorial on collection method count which you can watch if you don't know how it works you can find the link in the info button as well as in the description anyways using this loop we are printing the data from the collection along with the index number fairly simple now let's execute here is the result 107 rows displayed back you can download this example from my github also make sure to follow me on the facebook as this week i will be doing a live stream on oracle database 12c release 2 certification i am sure you don't want to miss that you can find all the links in the description that being said let's wind up for today that's the tutorial on how to use bulk collect into with execute immediate statement of dynamic sql hope you enjoyed watching if so then give this video Video, a thumbs up and share it with your friends most importantly don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching this is Manish from rebellionrider.com